Hey everyone, it's M4J here, and welcome back to Blue Veil here on City Skylines. And welcome to what is basically the start of the end of this series. Um, I've built quite a lot here in the old city. We've got airports, we've got university campuses, we've got stadiums, massive stations, lots of transport, and quite recently, this, which is our ore processing area, which I don't think actually works as I intended it to, but never mind. Um, and this, which is our ore manufacturing or mining um, area, which also doesn't really work how I wanted it to, but it's fine. We've got some traffic going on over here. Um, one thing I have done to try and alleviate that is link these two sets of traffic lights together. And I'm also tempted to make this road here one way so that all traffic here funnels out this way and then out. But because of the way this works, it doesn't really work as intended. So I think what I might do um, is actually make this right turn only and this one here left turn only and that might um, that might help things out a little bit as well but we'll see um, over here things are again going quite well we've got a little bit of traffic going on here I have installed the empty it mod which I think is working um, I haven't seen it much on these this one here has changed to fill but I think all of these are actually no that one's on empty um, but yeah, I think it's working as intended. It's kind of hard to tell. If I select this and do this, you can see we have a lot of traffic trying to get into um, this part of the, uh, the city. On that note, there is one thing I want to do. We've got an extra roundabout bit here. We could technically, uh, technically sorry, build loads more. But this one here, I'm going to build a little spur that comes out this way, curls around, and then joins up with this... Uh, main road here via a set of designated slip roads uh, and it's going to join up heading in this direction and it's just so that traffic heading from the south here can actually come up this way and then loop around into this area because right now they can't actually access it that doesn't solve the common problem though the common problem is actually traffic coming from the north trying to access the mine but it does sort of help sort of in i uh, also build a set of slip roads here that curve around and connect up which i'm tempted to do and then it forms sort of a loop and it means they're not using this end of the road because actually today uh either on camera or off i want to get this suburb of the city finished as well um the other thing that i want to do today is over here this is our ore little peninsula if i recall yes it is I want to get some ore industry going. How it's going to connect up to the main roads yet, I have no idea. One idea that I did have was to somehow connect it to the main road down here. Maybe via, if I come this way, across a bridge and then round and we'll build a little motorway junction here. That's not actually a bad idea. Or it comes down this way, bridges over here and then doubles back on itself. That's actually a pretty good idea. I was also tempted to build a hydroelectric plant up here because this looks like a prime spot for it. He's saying that. It's a little bit flatter than I thought. Maybe down here would be better. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's going to be the, um, the plan for today. Junction here into the oil. And then obviously from here it will come all the way along this road here. And then it will branch off this way and down here. And the oil production is actually going to be down here. So, I don't know, refineries and all that stuff. Plastic plants. I can't actually remember what um, industries are involved. But that's the plan. That's what I want to do today. So, first of all then, I want to get this little junction over here connected up and working. Uh, and then we'll go from there.
All right, let me show you what I have done then. So first of all, uh, over here, we've built this connection between the roundabout and the motorway. Uh, it's not the cleanest looking junction like this bit here. I don't know what happened here. I think I came off at a weird angle when I was doing this and it's now like that. I'm probably able to fix that using move it or something like that, but it's fine. It's not hurting anyone. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. We've got this like double interchange here now, which is fine as well. Um, and then, yeah, we've also got this here, which is just an elongated slip road, basically, that runs from the north here round to the east and then can feed further east as well for um, potentially trucks coming out of... Uh, actually, where? what would it serve? <laughs> It doesn't really serve a purpose at all, but I've got a double slip road thing here anyway, so that's what that's for. Um, this flyover one here, it's fine. I think I would like a, an extra node in this gap here though. Uh, let's say there. And if I could get a pillar here, just to make this look like it's actually supported by something because right now it does not and it kind of annoys me so if I just bury that there like that I think that looks a little bit nicer I could probably put one in the middle of this as well but I'm not going to right now but next time you see this interchange there may well be a pillar there too uh, I think this is good then I think we're now ready to move on uh, one other thing I want to do is that's already sloped so I might end up just taking that one out completely also uh, got to set up the priorities here there we go and you can do that and I guess you can do that too but not ideal I don't know how I'm gonna get transport over here it won't be bus because the roads are too busy so it could be rail bear in mind there's a track here that is gonna run along this way and he's actually going to join up with the main lines over here uh, to form. In fact, it's going to end up running parallel to this one here. And it's going to form the second entry to the uh, the station over here at Dalton. Or the interchange, as it's uh, as it's now known. Right, so that's the first bit of the episode done. I'm going to stop talking rubbish now and I'm going to start getting on to the next bit. So next on the agenda is oil. Uh, so I was going to build the, uh, the junction during that first time lapse but because I built that second bit I thought I'd come back and show you that bit first and then I'll come back and do the interchange so let's get on with building this interchange here first and then we'll talk about what we're going to do with the oil field over here Okay, a bit of a diverging diamond we've gone for here, uh, which isn't the cleanest looking interchange, I'll be honest. Uh, I think this one was downloaded off the workshop, but I'm a little bit disappointed with how it looks. Uh, it doesn't really have the, um, the aesthetic that I was going for necessarily, but it'll do. We'll work with it. Um, I think overall, you know, with some, uh, some moving around and things like that, I can make this look how I want it to, but yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Right. So we now have access to the oil field. We also have access down this way to potentially link that road for now over to here. Also, um, these excess slip roads over here, I can't remember if I said this on camera or not, but my plan for these now is to actually run them parallel to the main motorway here and have them join into this junction here and then have this part of the motorway just carry on as is. So the way to actually come off the motorway throughout this entire section is to actually use the side roads that's the plan i think that'll work we'll find out um and then at the end here it will form back into one motorway again i think that will work better 
and it also means you know these things serve a purpose uh and it also means that you know the, the roundabout and everything here if you want to get from here to the airport you can actually go this way without having to necessarily go on the motorway you can imagine it's like an a road that runs parallel or something i don't know okay oil if i can get the overlay up and keep it up we should be able to run a road of some description what have we got something plain and boring probably something like the actually maybe this just for reasons there we go we should be able to run this down the middle turn off anarchy down the middle of this and we'll do something like that at junctions so like here we're going to do this and again if I can turn that on and keep it on we want one there we'll go up two here to do the next one if we could bring that in like that over here we want a slightly longer one that comes all the way down to here and then this side see this side I don't think we need one I think this is fine and that kind of covers everything in this area and then from here we can uh, bring it round and, and sort it out in a second I'm also going to grab this road uh, and I need it to follow somewhat the topography here we'll lift it up a little bit and at this point we need a bridge don't really want a suspension bridge though so maybe I'll just go for elevated like so like that I think that's flat it's actually not flat that's very not flat so that's okay we can now do something like that and now that looks flat once the uh, the nodes here have been leveled which we'll do like so that's pretty good. It's not perfectly flat, but it's pretty good. We will bring this road along like this over to here, where it's going to meet up with this two lane. But actually, right now, the, uh, the instinct is to just bring this up and connect it like that. But what I'm actually going to do is if this road continues which i think it will do and i think it will come along this way it may even end up so this is going to be residential over here as well so it might end up coming through this area uh, and possibly even up towards the airport but it will definitely connect into this roundabout here at some point somehow um so we'll have this existing road here be left turn only but for the other road we want it to dive underneath all this and emerge over here and probably connect up here just before the bridge. Uh, and we may even have something doing the opposite as well. So if I can grab, I think just a single lane is fine. And we'll branch it off here. And we'll do something, I guess like this. Um, and for now I'm just going to do it like this in fact it will need to come off sooner it may even come off at the last junction up here like this and then here it will run down 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 like that here it will go into a tunnel and it will run underneath like this and then here it will run back up and it should fit to connect back in like this, I hope. And then uh, this lane here can be a tunnel. That lane there can probably be tunnel as well, really. We'll see how that looks. Uh, and then this one, and again, to be fair, probably all the way back can be tunnel. Maybe. We'll see how that looks in a second. It's a bit messy. I'm not a massive fan. I think the problem is 
uh, if I come out from underground. I think the problem is this section here just made it look a little messy. Come on. Oh, now you want to stay underground, do you? Let's have another crack at this, and then uh, we can start worrying about where we're actually going to place our oil production buildings. So, remove that. Let's start at this end. I think something else I could do, actually, is make this a... Um... Does that work? Asymmetrical? That's a six-lane asymmetrical. Do we have a five-lane? Yes, we do. Right there. That kind of works. If I'm able to bring this side up like that, that's better, I would say. And then from here, we can bring this out and around. Like this. And then here it can you know drop down underground, do its thing. Swing it round. I'll swing it more like this. And then have it come out again. Like so. And then up. Maybe even just connect it here. That works. I kind of like that. Uh, we'll swap it round. How do I do the underground? So why have I got that open? Who knows? Uh, how do I go underground here? There's a question. I guess do that. There we are. And then you can just be like this, like this, and like that. And then we'll connect you up properly, and you should be good to go. Cool. So this main road here is going to cross over this road here. We will upgrade these sections as well, just to make it obvious that there is a tunnel there without it being breached too quickly. We'll get rid of that. We'll sort out these nodes. I guess that one works. Over here, it's gonna be like, like that. Again, I guess that works. Uh, we don't need, close that as well don't need traffic lights here we do need this because we're gonna do that I don't know why it decided to do differently you go there you go there you go there so we don't need to give away or anything it's great uh, and then one other thing over here if I have access to the asymmetric road nope that's not the one there's the one we want that, which technically we want that way. So maybe we do want two lanes in each direction here. We want it like that. That's better. Uh, and then for some of these ones, yeah, I think we do actually want um, the exact road type that I didn't want to use, but there it is. So we want that one there. This one we don't care about too much because I think we might make these just exit turn only. Again, for simplicity. Okay, we are ready. Let's place down some oil buildings. And then when we come back, we'll, uh, again, talk about what they do. All that good stuff. Uh, that looks horrendous. That slope, that's got everything to do with the fact that there are nodes too close to this one. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to place down the oil buildings. And then we're going to start setting all this up and good things like that. Let's go.
Here we go then. Perfect name here. Pine Petrochemicals. Uh, pine... Actually, Petrochemicals would have worked better if this was a um, manufacturing area, but it isn't. But yeah, still, still right. We could do improved logistics. Get that working. We could do safety supervision as well. Advanced automation would be a good one for sure. Let's see how much we're actually producing. Uh, at the moment... It is going up, actually. It is going up. I don't know if these are getting full. 9%, 14%, 1%. Yeah, it's kind of happening. Um, so the plan here, then, is for this to go that way for storage, and then these two here to go this way for exit. Uh, this one here is going to be that way. This one here is going to be that way. This one here is going to be there and there. And this one, I guess, is going to be there and there. Although, technically, is this drilling? Yeah. So this is probably going to be straight on, actually. Like so. Um, yeah. And then for these, you're going to be give way. You're going to be give way. And then for this one... You're going to be like that, and you're going to be like that. That's probably a good way of getting this set up. Same thing over here, where you're going to be that direction. You are going to be that way, that way, and that way. You're just going to be turning right, and you're just going to be going straight on. And for this one, technically we want those two there to be give way because I think the main route is going to be from this one here but there is quite a lot of pumps all over the place to be fair uh, and then this one as we've oh actually no we haven't already established you're going to be right turn only you're going to be straight on and then these two here are going to be straight on uh, and then for this yeah you can just enter whenever cool all good and yeah stuff's gonna get stored here and then once it gets full it's gonna move elsewhere we should get some um, city services coming soon yep good stuff and I think right now they are gonna turn here double back and go back in to get to where it is they need to go which is fine it's not the end of the world but it's also not ideal the was it diverging diamond interchange DDI however it's pronounced is in a position where it should be working i am going to set up the time traffic lights here though because again i think i don't know actually if this was one off the workshop but i think if it is it should have come with a um traffic se traffic light sequence already set but as you saw here it hasn't if i do that this one's already set up fine so i can actually do this one this one and this one i think all in one go and then do something similar on this side. Where it's that one, that one, and that one. All in one go. And then as the swap here, you just turn that one off. You turn that one off. And you turn that one off. But you leave the left turn here one on. So it's that one, that one, and that one. Let's try that. See how that goes. Alright. Wow. Yes, there's a lot of vehicles here trying to turn back in. That's um, hmm, more than I thought, actually. More than I thought. That's fine, though. We can do that here. Uh, that one, yeah, we don't need to change, actually, do we? But that one will do. So we can say this one and this one. And you can be straight on, like so. Because you're going to be left turn only, so that's fine. Um... Yep, and then for the second one, it's going to be that one added, that one added, these two turned off. Okay. What's going on over here then? Just everything getting in each other's way. I imagine it's because we just had all these vehicles suddenly spawn as well, so it's going to be a bit of a pain. Right, last thing then. We've got the petro petrochemicals there with the oil being drilled, but we need something to actually do with it. Um, so I, over here, we're going to add another district, little district. It's probably going to be up to the wires here, to be fair. Uh, and then we'll add side roads and all sorts of things there. And then this is going to be our oil 
uh, manufacturing area production. I mean, technically not production because that's the... Dr yeah, anyway, we're going to add some stuff here and we'll talk about it again in just a second. So here we are then, welcome to Oil Town, home of basically everything. We've got uh, naphtha, is that how you say that? Naphtha cracker plants, which, um, I mean, that sounds painful, but I think it's to do with plastic production. We've got waste oil refining plants over here, loads of storage, which hopefully will get full up at some point. Uh, down here, we've got the oil sludge pyrolysis plants. And then this section here, we've got the petrol petrochemical plants, which produce plastics. I think everything here, that produces petroleum. That's plastics. And then over here, it's also petroleum. That's basically it. That's the oil section set up. Um, there are other industries, of course. We've got uh, the, I mean, there's warehouses here, actually. What do they store? Storing goods. So not actually anything particularly useful. Uh, you've also got like general industry here with the unique factories, which we'll be looking to do as well. Um, farming, I think, might be off off the table now, but forestry is definitely something we can still look at. And there's loads of areas to build forests uh, around the city and actually fishing as well. Just saw it come up on the screen. We can have fishing up here at the uh, the harbour. Um, this is still going to be the harbour. I'm very tempted to actually make it the, the main harbour for the city, but I think traffic would become absolutely intolerable were I to do that. But we could definitely do something here with um, goods. Why do these ships keep spawning and disappearing? That's weird. Uh, I'm also tempted to build maybe a harbour down here. The one up here is meant to go in this area here. That may still happen, but again, it might be a ways off. Uh, it might even be this main series ends and then we do like sub sub episodes every time something new like that happens. I don't know. What I do know is we've got lots and lots of traffic coming uh, into the city now. All this goods traffic that's getting um, shoved around. Do we really not have enough enough buyers? I hi highly doubt that somehow. You don't even have enough natural resources. What's that? Are you out already? Surely not. Or did I just build you in a really bad spot? I probably built you in a really bad spot. Oh, hang on. You are actually running out already. That's uh, interesting. I might have to turn on infinite resources for a little bit just to make this work. Because, yeah, this is being bled dry. <laughs> this is huge. Look at that. Yeah. Woof. Okay. Might have to work on getting things in and out here a little bit better then. And um, we've got trucks here that are still doubling back, which is kind of annoying, but there's not really much I can do about that unless I put a little mini roundabout here, which is something I could do, actually. And that would help with getting stuff out and also getting stuff to double back. We'll see. We'll see. But that should do it for this episode. I'm pretty happy with the amount we've got done here. We now have ways for um, traffic to come on and off the motorway here. 
got this new interchange. We've got a way here to connect up to more residential in the future. And there's definitely going to be more suburbs built down here because our population... I would have loved to have got it to a million and I still think it's possible. The game might melt before we get to that stage, but I, I'm feeling like it's doable. So this area here is going to be suburbs. This area over here I'm going to build off camera. We're going to connect it up to that road and I'm going to make it look nice. Um, down here, huge amounts of suburbs. This might even end up being just one huge district with more railway stations and things like that. Uh, I would like to build a zoo at some point, but I don't know where. Same thing with amusement parks. No idea where. And yeah, we are getting more and more flights coming into the city now as well, which is good. Although the cargo side does seem to have calmed down a little bit, which is slightly confusing, but I guess I can't complain. Um, I want to do something over here as well with the airport. Maybe even build a second airport for smaller flights. I don't know. And I feel like there's a lot of wasted space in the middle of the terminal here as well. But that's for something to worry about another day, I suppose, as well. And I really want to make sure that these work. Because right now, I think we've got to wait two days for the next match. So I might speed up time a little bit as well. Edit the real-time mod settings a little bit. Uh, and see if we can test that out. As for now, though, there's not really much left to say. Other than, thank you very much for watching. There may be one more video coming on this series. Um, which could be just doing some more building work. Or it might be a city tour. If it is doing more building work, then the video after that will be a city tour. And then that'll be it for Blue Vale for the time being. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's been a really good city. I like the fact that I'm actually bringing this one to a natural conclusion as well. And not just deciding to stop making videos on it. Which is good. Uh, I'd have liked to have done a bit more of, you know, like traffic solving and things like that. But I actually kind of built these roads, for the most part, fairly well at the start. I've still got a little bit of traffic going on here. But again, I can actually fix that. Uh, if I grab one of these roads, uh, not one of those roads, sorry. If I grab one of these roads and build that out from here, that should stop traffic doubling back for the most part. It will still do a little bit, actually, but yeah. The idea is to try and get it to not do this, really, because <laughs> it's a little annoying. Uh, do I have one with bike lanes? Yes. I'm going to do this for this bit and then it's going to come to a junction somewhere up here maybe along there and then at that point it will turn into a two lane let's see if i can do that i'm actually probably going to build this off camera close to this episode being finished to be fair so that'll get done um and then yeah like i said one maybe two more episodes and then that's it for this series I'm going to connect these. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to wrap up this episode here now. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you for everyone who's watched this series throughout its run. It's been an absolute blast. I've loved every second of it. It's really helped the channel grow as well. So I'm very, very appreciative of this game and of this series. There will, of course, be a series starting City Skylines 2, possibly the day it's released. In fact, if I can get an episode turned around quick enough. Um, but yeah, I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to getting stuck into that game when it finally emerges. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and of course if you're enjoying the series drop comments down below let me know what you think of the city anything you'd like to change anything you'd like to see improved all that good stuff if you haven't already subscribed the channel be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed the channel thank you for your continued support enjoy the rest of your evening and until next time i will see you soon